Two years ago, I made a Blender vs. Unity comparison video, but that was two years ago and much of the old information has changed. Here is the 2020 comparison of Blender vs. Unity. Back in the old video, I compared four categories of comparison. Modeling, texturing, the game engine, and what have both of them produced. Well, Blender doesn't have a game engine anymore, so I'm going to replace that category with animation. Much of this video will also center mainly on what type of person each software is best for. Here is the short answer. If you are developing a game, then you will mostly be using Unity. If you are modeling, rigging, or texturing, then you will mostly be using Blender. Animation, however, is a middle ground, but we'll get to that later. Also, if you want more content like this, please be sure to subscribe to the Sorcerer channel. It is completely free, so there is literally no reason not to. Here we go! Let's start with modeling. I'm going to break this down into two types of people. Game developers who are making 3D games, and 3D artists slash modelers. So if you are a modeler or a 3D artist, you really don't need to use Unity, because Blender is a dedicated 3D modeling software, and unless you're trying to make a game, you really don't need Unity, because Unity is a dedicated game engine. However, if you are a game developer making 3D games, then you would really want to use both Unity and Blender. Unity does have some very basic 3D modeling features, such as ProBuilder, however, ProBuilder only works for very simple 3D modeling, and unless you were making a really simple game, it really wouldn't be enough to make a 3D game. Of course, you can use ProBuilder for prototyping, but once you get past the prototyping stage, you might need something more advanced such as Blender to help you make your 3D game. Now on to texturing. The clear winner of texturing is Blender. In Blender, you have full control of texturing objects. You can UV unwrap any mesh and use the node editor to map textures onto it. You can even use Blender's procedural texture generator to make anything you want. This editor also has a bunch of other purposes such as mess displacement, but as far as textures in general, you can mess around with all of the noise settings to get normal maps, displacement maps, basically anything that you need for texturing. Unity, however, doesn't really have any of this. Instead, you take textures that are imported from somewhere else and turn it into a material with all of the different maps that make it. This is why Blender and Unity work so well together when making 3D games. Now it's time to talk about animation, and to be honest, I believe that both Unity and Blender are effective at animation. Until things start getting complicated. And mainly for this one, I'm going to be talking about character animation, because character animation is one of the most complex animations there are. That's because most characters have something called a rig, which is an array of objects within the mesh that function as bones, which allows the animator to animate individual parts of the character. This allows animators to animate really complex characters such as humans, spiders, and pretty much anything else. And this this is where Blender excels. You cannot make this rig in Unity, you can only make it in Blender. This is because rigs in Blender have something called an armature modifier, which allows animators to make complex movements to the character very easily, so for example, inverse kinematics. However, when you export the FBX file into Unity, that armature modifier is not compatible with Unity, and therefore, you can't make the very complex movements in animation that you would be able to do in Blender. So with that being said, I mainly use Unity's animation system for animating minor tweaks two characters after I've already exported them out of Blender. However, if you are making very simple animations, ones that don't require a rig with bones, then Unity is a very good animation tool for animating simple objects for your game. Since Blender is also good at making these simple animations though, if you are an animator and not a game developer, I don't really see any reason for you to use Unity for animation over Blender. Alright, we are all done with animation, and now it is time to talk about what have the two softwares produced? Or what have people been making with these softwares? Well, this is where it differs the most, because Unity is a game engine, and Blender deals with everything from animation to 3D modeling. So for Unity, I'm going to talk about some various games that came out, and for Blender, I'm going to talk about some various animations that came out. 
Now, I did want to stay true to the thumbnail and not clickbait you guys by putting in Star Wars stuff, so I actually found a Star Wars game that was made using Unity. And that game was LEGO Star Wars The Quest for R2-D2, but that game was made a while ago. Now, some of the most popular games made by Unity are also mobile games, but some of the most popular PC games made by Unity include Cuphead, Monument Valley 2, Rick and Morty, Inside, or in the Blind Forest, and the list just goes on and on. And many of these very popular games are the reason why many game developers choose to start out with Unity, and that's also why Unity is one of the top game engines where games are made by game developers. Now, Blender is known for many indie animations, so I'm on the website of Blender Guru, aka Andrew Price, and there is a whole list of very big indie animations that were made with Blender, and I'm going to show you one of my favorite ones that is currently in production right now. Now this is the teaser for an indie film called Dynamo Dream, and all of the CGI in this film was made using Blender. This is just absolutely amazing looking, and I cannot wait for this film to come out. I believe it's currently still in production, and there are updates along the way by the producers of this film on when it's going to come out. Wow, you made it through the entire video, congrats! I really hope that you got a lot out of this video, and now you know more of a clear difference between Unity and Blender, and which one that you should use based on the type of person that you are. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video, please subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!